Hey writers, I am so excited because I am working on writing a new book starting from scratch for NaNoWriMo this year, 2019. But I figured out when I did a little workshop to prep for NaNoWriMo with my patrons so we could all make a game plan and really make sure that we could win. Part of doing that was figuring out exactly how many days we could actually write during NaNo because a lot of the time, yeah, we say 30 days, but do we really have 30 days Really? No, not usually. So I calculated and I realistically had 14 days to complete NaNo. That's 50,000 words written in 14 days, brand new story. It's crazy, but I'm really excited. I'm actually on track. I am on day five of my schedule. I'll show you a little bit right now, just how I'm tracking on the NaNoWriMo website and also a crazy Excel spreadsheet. And part of the workshop that we did too is figuring out how many words could we write per hour and then how many hours do we have to write and what time of day we would have to write. And all of that was just super, super helpful. So I'm actually on track, which is great. And what is even more exciting is that Mandy Lynn asked me to co-host her 10K writing challenge that she's brought back for this nano and she's been doing sprinting in the morning. And now I am doing sprints on my Instagram stories with anybody who wants to do it. And as you can probably tell from the challenge, we are trying to write 10K in one day, which means I can write less words per day for the rest of the days that I have to write. I don't think I've mentioned it already, but I am doing a YA fantasy sort of very loose retelling of a story I've never seen anybody do a retelling of before, which I'm really excited. It also has some elements of a musical that I really love. And the theme that the main character is going to learn is something that actually I've been learning myself over the last few years, sometimes the hard way, but I'm really excited to sort of dive into that and put a little bit of myself into the story. I'm definitely a plotter. So I did a lot of plotting beforehand. I used the Save the Cat beats and some of the beats from the book, Seven Secrets of Story Structure. I did that outline while writing on the Wander Writers Retreat, which was so helpful. And now I'm using that outline and the beats to do all of the scenes. And part of how I'm really able to keep writing as fast as I am is because I have descriptions of most of the scenes and I did some world building and all kinds of stuff. So now when I sit down, I can go to those little summaries and just fill in all the holes with actual prose. For my first sprint of the morning, I got about 1300 words and I have a ton more to write, so I should get back to it. But I wanted to take you guys a little bit on the journey today with a little bit more of how I'm accomplishing this, sharing some tips with you guys. And also I wanted to show you how I've started to redo my office. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm redoing my office at the same time as Nano. What was I thinking? But I'm so loving it. I'm loving the setup. And so I thought, why not? Why don't I just show you guys a little bit of how it is shaping up? But right now, let me write some more words and I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I only got 564 words that time, but part of the time I was talking to you guys, so bad on me. Um, but I'm excited to start sprinting again in about five minutes. Um, what I do on my Patreon when we sprint, and we sprint a lot in there. So if you need more accountability throughout the year and not just during Nano, we would love to have you join us and sprint with us like all the time. But yeah, usually what I do with them is I set a timer for more like 40 minutes or 45 minutes and we sprint, sprint, sprint. And then we pause and we check in with each other and take a few non-stressful minutes to just take a break and and um, recharge, stand up, stretch, get some food, check in with each other, encourage each other, and then we start back up again. So with doing it on Instagram today, it's just easier to say, hey, at the top of the hour, we're gonna start over, but I'm still stopping a few minutes early for myself, just again, to get up and stretch and do basically NaNoWriMo self-care. I actually have a whole post on my Instagram that I talked about self-care during NaNoWriMo and linked a few people that had some great resources. So if you are looking to take better care of yourself, during NaNoWriMo, definitely check that out. And if you didn't see last week's video, I also did a video with my husband, Ben, who's a physical therapist, and he helped me set up my whole space so that I don't get pain while I'm sitting for long periods of time and writing and some stretches I could do as well. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out. And as you probably saw before, like my whole computer and typewriter and everything, even my chair, we go over all of that to make sure that you have good posture so that you're not in pain 
screen during all of nano. And now it is one o'clock, so I'm gonna start the timer back up with the people who are sprinting with me. I'm reposting their stories when they tag me with their progress, so that's always fun. And let's right now just do a little story together, okay? It is one o'clock, so that means we are starting back up. I hope you guys are just continuing to stay encouraged. You can do this no matter how many words you do today. It is worth it. You are making progress. I'm so glad you guys are doing this with me. Oh, here we go. Hey guys, so it's been a couple more sprints. I had to move where I was sitting just to like change things up and like reposition a little bit. So I'm in my other corner of my office. As you can see, it is still in progress, but it's getting there, it's getting there. But I love that I still have my map from the Shire and just this setup over here. And what I have here is my handy dandy lap desk, which I love, I use on the couch as well. But yeah, little updates. So we've had a couple sprints. Um, I have reached, I have reached a total of a little over 3000 words, which is actually all I would need if I had written yesterday. And yesterday there was a bunch of other stuff I needed to take care of. So I didn't write and I was like, that's okay. Tomorrow's a 10K day. So I'll write 10K words and I'll actually get more than two days worth and I'll show you on the calendar that we created. I sort of gave like a template with a bunch of other tips and stuff that we talked about in a live stream, but I had this all planned out, but this day I had planned to write, you know, another 3000 words or so. Um, but now I have to write twice as much. And so I just hit the 3000 mark thinking that I was done for the day. Like, like I want to get to 10,000 words. That would be awesome. But even if I didn't, I would have at least caught up to where I needed to be. But now I just realized I didn't do this day, which means I need twice as many words. Yeah, so that's a big bummer um, because I'm sort of at a point that I've been writing for a few hours and I'm sort of getting a little weary. I mean, I ate lunch, I have water, um, but yeah, just after this amount of time, I'm just like really feeling it right now. One thing that has been really helpful is that, like I said, I had an outline, I have seen summaries. And the other thing is that I've been writing a zero draft or a fast draft and just like writing everything I can, even if it doesn't totally make sense. Sometimes I'm writing questions in there that I have. So little notes for myself or like, Hey, I just wrote this whole scene like this, but if I figure out that this idea would work better, Better. This is another idea that I can throw in there. So while a lot of it is prose, some of it is just like stream of consciousness or processing or placeholders. And all of that has been really, really, really helpful up to this point. Like some days I'm writing over 4,000 words, but my issue is that I've gotten to the end of my outline because the other thing that I was doing is skipping over certain scenes or just doing like a skeleton of certain scenes with like mostly dialogue, not a lot of description, a lot of placeholders. So while I've skipped around a little bit, at this point I've gone back and touched almost every single scene. And so now instead of continually just writing, 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 I now have to go back into the outline and find the places that I didn't write or places that I can flesh out. Something that's happening very similarly with my last book is that the bad guys close in beat is like the hardest beat for me to write. It's like always the first few chapters are like just come sort of like clockwork, even though I end up rewriting them later at least they flow. And even like the fun and games, like that works. And like the midpoint can be a little fuzzy, but I usually have an idea 
and then we get to the bad guys close in and I think that's probably where I'm gonna have to land for at least the next hour or so I might even have to wrap up early because literally I'm just like oh, I need a break <laughs> but yeah all of this has been super helpful as I've been going basically chronologically but now I'm slowing down because I have to go back to these certain scenes and figure out where I need to add things in so I think what I'm gonna do is go into the bad guys close in beat um, because I think that's where most of the holes are and I'm gonna just try to write as much as possible a lot of it's really fuzzy a lot of it isn't solidified I really need to do a little more world building in order to totally get what I want to do during those scenes I think but as a zero draft just basically telling myself the story and trying to figure things out in this first go around I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet get over my perfectionism and just write 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 which means I should probably stop vlogging and get back to writing so we'll see you guys in a little bit Hey friends, so it's been five sprints. It is a little after five o'clock. I think I'm done for today. I've written a little over 4,000 words, so I didn't hit 10K, but I'm still really proud of the progress I made. And I think if you go ahead and make big goals for yourself like this, it actually helps you do a lot more than you originally thought you could. So no regrets. Thanks so much, Mandy, for asking me to co-host. It was a lot of fun. Right now, because I didn't hit at least 6,000 words like I was sharing earlier. I am a little bit behind in my 14-day NaNoWriMo-ness and so I'm not discouraged though. I think I can catch up by adding some of those words to each day next week or if I have some time tomorrow, which I don't typically write on the weekends. I try to leave them open for more family time, but if there is any downtime then I use that as extra time, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, this was just a fun vlog and not really scripted like a lot of my other videos are. Definitely let me know if this was fun and helpful and if you would like to see more vlogs this month to see if I actually hit 50,000 words in 14 days and how that goes and what I learn along the way. So if you're interested in that, definitely let me know that in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you are doing with NaNo as well. I really want to know. And if you're looking for more writerly and NaNoWriMo related videos, definitely check out one of these two and we'll see you there.